In this video, we'll introduce for loop. Eclipse Three things remain in my mind since I learned the programming. What is programming? There are three the most important thing you have to keep in mind. So program runs in order, executes in order. Number two. Program use if else for branching to check the condition and uh, to make decision like which route, right? Which route to go in, in the next step. The third one, for loop, automatically repeating the task. Today we'll do for loop. Let's create a new Java project. for loop next finish we'll draw some circles using for loop let's create a package And dot letter dot for loop. Okay. Finish. New class. Circles. We'll create a J frame. Circles using for loop. Yeah, the shortcut key to to jump to the beginning of the, the line is Command Left arrow key and the Command Right arrow key. Okay, so next line. Frame dot set size eighty eighty okay and uh, don't forget shift enter frame dot set location. I have to use a big number for Y because I have two screens. Okay, next one. Frame dot set visible to and the save and the run. Wow, big window. Sure, nice. Maybe, maybe I can make this smaller. So, six hundred. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this time maybe one hundred. Uh. 1900 okay. oh I 
guess because it's this is too big so um, maybe let's try 15 1500 okay. yeah very good I like this one so I will remember this for our next tutorial videos 800 uh, 600 600 1500 okay thanks now let's create the panel class so right click new class circle the panel why not finish Course extends J panel, yes, and overwrite paint the component, yes, and we'll fix this warning by adding one like this. Use the second one this time, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Now the warning is gone. We don't use it, and we'll introduce this in our future videos. So let's draw two circles, two or three circles manually. Uh, let's use this one as our sample. Like that, this guy. OK. So it means we all use different radii for an other same uh, circle center. So G dot draw oval. Oh, so this one, <laughs> this one is not very convenient for our task here. Let's try it, this, zero, zero, and 100, and 100. Let's get a feeling of that, why? Try to understand why I said it's not convenient. This one, add the panel into the, so this time we can save one step. So jframe.add component will create the panel here. New circle panel, yeah, right, command shift F11. You see, we specify the top left of this, this circle. Ideally, let's create a function, a function, our own function, right? So we can pass in the location of the circle center. Let's do it. So we can do private. VOID, we don't want, this is the return type of the function, draw circle, so we are passed in circle center x, center y, and uh, radius. Oh, we still need this guy. Oh, wrong place, sorry. This should be inside our circle panel here. Yeah, we need this guy. Graphics G, right? 
So let's make a copy of that and put it here. So we'll pass down this. Yeah. So we'll call our draw circle function. Yeah, and pass down this parameter center this time of course the center of our of this circle is 50 50 50 50 and the radius is obviously 50 for this very circle we just drew so now let's implement it so if this is the center right we need to do g draw oval. Where is the y and x? x and y. It should be center x minus radius, right? No. Wrong. Cross. Center x. No minus radius yeah think about that and uh, center y minus radius width of course radius height radius 2 let's give a try so let's run this one first okay so let's hide that so we can compare and uh, run it this is our yeah first try now let's compare with our own function here this one we can specify the center and the radius run it Oh, something is wrong. Okay, my mistake. You see, this is not. This has has to be double. Yeah, that's why we need to test, right? Yeah, the width and the height of the rectangle for the oval is double the radius. Okay. Try it again. Yes. Now that's what we need. So let's draw. Now, now we can delete that one. And uh, this time, put our center at maybe 300 and 300. Let's see. Well, it is this one. Okay. It's good. What about another one? So put the cursor anywhere on this line and uh, command the option and the down key we duplicate one. So this time we'll use the same center, but let's increase this by, let's check the sample. Okay, by 50, by 150, let's see what happened. Yes, very good. Another one duplicated now. Two fifties. Two fifties. Let's see. Command Shift F eleven. 
nice now let's check the pattern this one is 50 plus 0 times the delta the difference between each the radii of all the circles so here is 150 and 2 let's make another one 350 yeah let's see Cool. So we'll improve we'll improve that code using a for loop. For do we have iterator over over iterator? Oh, no. Let's try this one. Um, I okay. So let's remove this one. We don't need that. So I start from zero and end with um, four here. So four, and every time I will increase by one. So there are four iterations here. The first time I is zero. The second time I is one. The third time I is two, and the fourth time I is three. So exactly what we need here, like that. So we can make a copy of this line, any line, this line, make a copy and move down it to here. And uh, we'll change this one to I, right? So this code will be repeated four times. Every time I is different. I has different values. And now let's comment out this one and give it a try. Same thing. Okay, now let's add one here. You see, one, two, three, four, five. So this is generated by i with value zero. One, two, three, four. So i will go zero, one, two, three, four. Now let's add two more, seven circles. You see, we can add more, or about 10. So you see the, the power of for loop, right? We don't need to write turn lines of code. Yeah. Now we can delete, clean up the, the, the old code here. And another thing we learned today is our own function so we define one two three four four parameters so when we when the execution of the program arrives here it will jump to the function and pass in the four parameters with right four arguments g for the for this guy so the g is from here and uh, 300 will be this guy so the, here this will be 300 and the same idea this will be this 300 and the radius will be oh now how every time it passed in a different value based on the value of i so the first time is 50 plus 0 times 50 so it's 50 the next time when i is 1 so this is 100. That's it for today. See you next time.